Robert back here, Bluegrass Bushcraft. Got another day in the shop. Last video you seen um, Farrow Rudd. Okay, I'm not really happy with that. That handle is just too small for um, that size of a Farrow Rudd. Not pleased with it at all. Good looking handle, it just doesn't fit. So. I'm going to glue the dowel rod in that some other time and plug it hole and um, probably turn it into a smaller ferro rod handle or a striker one. Anyway, today I'm going to work on this um, old Ontario knife. You've seen in the start of it on a previous video when I removed the old handles. But um, anyway, um, Got the little small brass pins that I've made and uh, eighth inch, and I've drilled two holes in the for the eighth inch. But that third one, as I got down close to the blade, that still is so hard I cannot touch it. So there's already a small hole there. It's a little bit bigger than I need, but I will lot drill the holes in the wood eighth inch, and uh, we'll make it work. But um, decided to keep this knife original. I don't want to modify it. I'm just going to put a new handle on it. Really kind of like the patina this blade's got on it already. So uh, don't want to mess that up. It's got a nice natural patina. May later on put a uh, 90 degree on the spine for a ferro rod. Not sure yet. Probably, most likely. But today I'm just going to work on the handles. I don't know how well that will show up on camera, but I've already traced out the knife handle. I've already got my three holes marked. And, uh, as you can see, I've got my two handles taped together solid, so they're, they're not going to go anywhere, so they're all going to line up and drill perfectly at the same time. And, um, Told you all that I was going to put the walnut inside like a liner, which I still am going to, but you all going to think I'm nuts because I got it on the outside here when I'm got it all taped up, but done that for a reason. When I drill into this, as that drill bit comes out the bottom of the wood, it's going to splinter that bottom side a little bit, and I don't want that on the outside of the handle. So I turn my outside of the handles in sandwich it together that way and it drills through my outside of my wood it'll be a good clean finish or at least that's my plan hopefully I'm just have to wait and see about renting my bit trying to drill through that last hole in that blade get this tape off here see what our center looks like our outside see what it looks like There we go. Good clean uh, drill all the way through where my pins are going to go. I'm going to hit the 
back side of this just lightly with a sand belt sander just to get the burrs off where I drilled. Nothing major, just touching it. sanding anything off of it just, just getting a little little burrs off the holes three little uh, brass pins cut out here Cut them cut just a little bigger than the wood. My old wore out hammer here. I've had his hammer many years. This is my grandfather's hammer. He used right up almost to the day he died. It's been a good old hammer. these uh, pins off just to hair where I cut them they got little burrs on them Framer just a little bit. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> oh well. Yep, that made the difference there. Around the end of this first one I put in there, I pulled it back out. dropping my pins here turn you off and I'll, I'll get back with you all right found my pins anyway I've already traced out the handle of the blade and uh, don't have too much to cut off here but We'll cut off just a little bit around the outside just to save a little sanding and uh, we'll do just like buddy Tom Chitwood done he made his uh, handle for the cleaver he was working on he didn't cut right on the line he cut just a hair outside the line that leaves room for shaping
blade down just to her. Tom Chipwood's scroll saw runs a little smoother than mine. Maybe you get a little sharper blades or something. He makes it look too easy. Anyway, got one of them cut out there, and uh, I normally use my bandsaw on something like that, that close of a straight line, but uh, missing some uh, bushings from my bandsaw right now. I'm gonna have to order some. They wear out ever so many years, but uh, I'm gonna cut this other one out and I'll get back with you.